Good afternoon, everyone. This is day four of our week of prayer and fasting, and our focus today is overcome fear with faith. Know that God is bigger than your fears. My name is Charlene McFarlane, and I'll be doing this prayer today. Fear has no place in the heart or our mind of a believer. And if we um, trust God, knowing that he is faithful, he is faithful to do the exceedingly abundantly for us, then we can say that fear has no, no place in our heart. In the text that we're focusing on this morning is Deuteronomy 31 verses 6. It says, Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, he is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. That's the word of God. And remember that God said that he honors his word above his name. He is faithful. He is faithful to do the exceedingly abundantly for us all. There is nothing that will hold him back when we come to him and ask him because he is faithful. In Romans 8 verses 28, in all things, God work for the good of those who love him and who have been called according to his purpose. So if we trust God enough and we go to him and we ask him for for him to do that which we ourselves cannot do he is able and he is perfect it goes again in first john 4 verses 18 and he says perfect love casts out all fears so if we learn to love as christ love knowing that in our life his knowing that our life is his knowing that he has the will to take care of us doesn't it doesn't matter the time the season he is that faithful God. Fear cripples one's ability to do things. Fear lets you do things that is out of the will of God. When the king of Syria was making war against Elijah, and Elijah sent his prophets, his servants, sorry, to go and look. And they came back so afraid. But Elijah prayed unto the Lord and he said, Lord, open their eyes so that they can see the harmony that you have set up around us. Because there is, the Lord said, he is more is with them than the Syrian army. So this afternoon, I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are with us and you, you is that army of one. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have never failed us yet and you won't start none. You stand tall in everything that you do, mighty God. You are strong, mighty God. You said we must be of good courage. We must lift our feet and believe in and trust in you, knowing that you is the God of the miraculous. And this afternoon, I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are our father you are our tower of strength you are our time our system that works with us mighty god this afternoon mighty god i want somebody to lift their faith and their trust in almighty god knowing that he has never failed us and he won't start now so father god i thank you for everything that you have been doing in our lives mighty god i thank you lord jesus for the obstacles mighty god that you have broken away mighty god i thank you lord jesus that you put us to stand, mighty God, and not be shaken because you are that solid rock. Mighty God, we lift you up this afternoon because there is none like unto you. We glorify your name, Jesus, because you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be honored. You are worthy to be glorified. And this afternoon, mighty God, there is nothing that stands in our way that you cannot, you cannot move, mighty God. Father God, you said if we have faith as small as a mustard seed, we can say to this mountain be move be move be move and go into that sea father god we thank you lord jesus that we have we have that resurrected power that raised you from the dead mighty god in our body and we will stand mighty god knowing that you mighty god stand with us so father god let you be glorified let you be honored let you be praised mighty god i will say perfect love casted out all fears to 
today. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you have done already and what you are about to do in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen and amen.